Here's a quick video of how you can reset the AdBlue counters if you are doing an AdBlue delete. So first select your car. So if the countdown timer is on, it is important that you reset the timer before doing an AdBlue delete because in some cases it is possible that the countdown timer will continue in the background even though the message is not displayed on the screen. Normally this doesn't happen, but I have seen it happen once. Um, so I always recommend to just do the reset. It doesn't take long. And then you know that you're not gonna come out one day and find the car doesn't start because it's got to the bottom of the counter. So I'm just doing this on the bench with a random BSI and a random ECU. So not everything is going to connect here. So once the scan is completed, go to Fault Finding, and this puts you in the advanced mode. No other messages. So because I did this on the bench with the wrong BSI and the wrong VIN, it doesn't know which ECU we're using, but the 2 liter blue HDI is a Delphi DCM 6.2. So enter the ECU. Scroll down to repair and we want pack repair. So I found the best way is to do this. So go to spare part and work on the emission control circuit. So if you have an additive low warning for the DPF, you can also replace the additive pouch and for the AdBlue replacement of the reservoir, the gauge pump module, so just hit this, switch off ignition. Okay, I've pulled the power off. And I think there is also a menu to say that you filled the tank. And then after that, there's another menu to, to actually reset the systems. So I suggest first going into these menus and telling it you fitted new parts and then do the reset. Okay, so ignition back on. Yes, and you can also tell it that you've replaced the Dnox catalytic converter, so that's the add blue cap. You shouldn't need to tell the ECU that you've replaced the NOx sensor unless it was broken previously. And once the add blue delete is on the ECU, you can disconnect that. If the DPF was blocked, please do replacement of the particle filter and this will reset all the soot tables. Okay, so let's go back one. And I think we need to go into service action. Work on the emission control circuit. and reinitialization of the DNOC system faults. Switch off the ignition, I'll just pull the power off. Yep, and there you are, as simple as that. On some models there is also an extra urea ECU and you will be able to go into that menu using Diagbox just like we did the engine ECU. I don't have a urea ECU on my bench to connect to, but I'm sure the procedure is exactly the same as what we just did here. Okay, so power back on. 